Okay, uh, we come to uh, question management accounting six. Uh, in this video, we want to look at the effect of the question paper of June 2024. So we're going to look at question 6.2 in the question paper on the preparation of budgets. And we're going to prepare the labor budget and the manufacturing of a budget in particular. So uh, the question that is LWP Bank Manufacturer produces wallets and pieces. The following information was extracted from their records for the year ended 31 December 2022. Estimated sales. Uh, we are given uh, wallets and pieces where they are given uh, units and cent price per unit. And then uh, beneath that, we have the production requirements uh, in terms of wallets and pieces. So uh, if you go down, uh, if you go down, you'll see that uh, we have direct labor. Uh, we also have labor and uh, uh, columns for wallets and pieces. And uh, obviously, uh, if you go down to the uh, next page, uh, we are going to see that we have got additional information that is there. Uh, additional information that is there and the information is running down and then uh, on the repaired part uh, it reads prepare the following budgets for the year ending 31 December 2022 whereby we are, we are having labor as raw material uh, labor budget is manufacturing by but according to this video we are only going to look at 6.2.2 and uh, 6.2.3 so uh, we are going to prepare the labor budget so uh, let's see what we have in terms of the uh, other section of what we are given uh, in the answer book. So this is our labor budget. So uh, on our labor budget, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to have, go through the production requirements uh, that are given in the question. Production, uh, production requirements. And on the production requirements, uh, we, are, we are going to go item by item in terms of ballot and places. And this, uh, try to see uh, what are the production requirements in terms of labor uh, for, for wallets and places. So uh, if you come here, uh, you would see that, uh, let's go, let's start this, uh, try to go uh, in the beginning of the question. I will see that uh, estimated sales, uh, we have got, uh, we have got 8,000, 8,000 units. They are indicating uh, the production requirements. 8,000 units for wallets and for four cases, you've got 9,000. But if you go beneath that, uh, all the production requirements again, we are, we are saying uh, for wallets, uh, for wallets, uh, there is a need for three hours and, uh, uh, for one wallet to be produced. So three hours required for one wallet to be produced, that is for wallets. And then for cases, we've got four hours required for one case. So what does it mean? It means uh, for a wallet, for example, we are saying uh, we've got 8,000 wallets and uh, it's uh, requiring three hours uh, each one. So you're going to say 8,000 8, times three hours so that you can get the total number of hours uh, that are needed for wallets. And then for pieces, you're going to say 9,000. Then you multiply by the four hours that are required for per one. So for, for pace, we are going to say 9,000. And then we multiply by four hours that are required for one pace. And then you can get the total number for pace, total number of hours for, pace, for pieces. And then we add together with the wallet so that we can get uh, the total labor hours required. So uh, basically, for wallets, we are saying 8,000 times 3. For pieces, 9,000 times 4. So uh, this is what we are going to do. We can go back to our other section and just summarize as such. So uh, if we come back here, uh, on our other section, we'll see that we are here. So we are now saying uh, wallets. Wallets, we are saying uh, it's 8,000. And then uh, we're going to multiply by three. And uh, obviously, the other that we are going to get is 24, uh, 24,000. Do the same thing for pieces. I think 9,000 pieces in uh, requiring four hours. So multiply by four. And then we get our 36,000. We are going to get the total to get the total. 24,000 by 36,000, we are going to get to 66,000. And this is going to be our total labor, labor hours required. Total labor hours required. So uh, this is what we have. And then um, we need now the labor rate per hour. Uh, labor rate per hour. Uh, 
Right. So later, let's see how we're going to get there to try to see what is the question say about uh, labor rate per hour. I'll go back at the beginning of the question. That's where we have that information. We are seeing that um, the labor rate per hour is given for wallets is 50 rand. The same applies to cases is 60 rand. So this is the labor rate is 50 rand. So we get just one labor 50, the total number of hours. If there were different uh, labor hours, and the rates, we are just going to uh, multiply them differently in terms of hours for uh, wallets. Then we multiply the rates, uh, that rate for wallets, and then for places, we do the same. But in this case, we put the same rate. So we are going to say uh, 50 rand, the rate. Then obviously, we don't want the total labor, labor cost. So I can say total. Total labor cost. And then we say 60,000 times 50. You are going to get your, uh, your 3 billion. So this is what we have. Then we put manufacturing overheads. And that's the next uh, that we have. So for manufacturing overheads, we are going to have fixed manufacturing overheads and variable manufacturing overheads. So basically, we are saying we are going to have fixed. Fixed manufacturing overheads, and then we have the variable. Variable manufacturing overheads. And then obviously, uh, we are now going to add the two to get the total manufacturing overheads. So we are just going to pick the fixed and the variable. So we come here. So uh, if we come here, you will see that our fixed uh our fixed overheads as estimated to be 4,400 per month. So obviously per year now we are saying 4,500. And then we multiply by 12. We say 4,500, multiply by 12. We're going to get uh, 54,000. So here we are saying 54,000 uh, representing our, our fixed. Then our variable, our variable are expected. Uh, our variable is expected to be recovered at 150 per direct labor hour. And we know that we've got 60,000 hours that we calculated there. So we can just refer back. Uh, uh, 60,000 labor hours that we have here. So we can multiply that one by, uh, by the 1.5 that we are given there. So we are saying uh, 60,000 times 1.5. And if you multiply, you're going to get 90,000. So uh, these are the totals that we have, 54,000 rands, and then variable is 90,000. So uh, that's exactly how we're going to enter them. So we come here. Uh, fix, for fix, uh, we are having, having 54,000. Then for variable, we are having 90,000. And then total manufacturing overheads, we are giving 1.4. This is what we have. Uh, so if you say 54 uh, plus 90, we are going to get 1.4. So this is what we've guessed about this video. Uh, let's meet again in the next video. As for this video, I'm out.